Hello, I'm going to do the Aquarius Weekly Energy for March 29th to April 5th. And every Monday, I'm going to do the Aquarius Weekly Reading. So you can tune in on Mondays to get your weekly energy reading. So this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. We're going to pull some tarot. We're going to get some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. All right, we have the death card. We have the king of swords. We have the we have Capricorn. We have the hierophant, and we have the queen of cups. All right. I feel like all the readings that I've done for t today, for, the, for this week, have just been about big changes, big things happening, um, transformations, um, changes, um, getting rid of those things that don't work for you. So again, for, <clears throat> for you Aquarius, you have some transformation coming in, but there, I feel like there's something that you're holding on to that you have to release that you have to let go of so that you can start a new um, cycle so that you can start anew. There's some kind of energy that you're holding on to that's kind of bogging you down and holding you back. Um, you're overthinking. You're, th you're thinking about things a lot. You're, I feel like you're realizing that there's something that you have to change. Um, I feel like it's a bad habit. Um, it could be, it could be like a controlling relationship or it could be a relationship where there's just a physical attraction. Um, it could be like a difficult commitment. Like it could be like a job that's not making, you know, that making you happy. It could be a relationship that's not making, you know, you have you happy this also represents you know having to make heavy choices hard choices you know um you know that's that's what you have going on here and then we have the hierophant so that's about getting some counsel um, trusting in it, you know, maybe you have a friend that you're really close to that you need to talk things out and get some clarity with, um, that you have to believe in a higher power, that everything's happening for a reason. And then we have the queen of cups. So I feel like this is emotional for you. Like you're, you might be a little touchy this week. Like you might be a little sensitive because you have all of this energy going on. Like you have so much on your mind this week. And that you may be a little moody, you may be a little touchy, like, you know, you may be overly sensitive this week, but it's because you have so much going on with you um, that you're dealing with and that people have to be understanding of that and cognizant that it's not them, it's you because you are working on this this week. All right, so let's get some clarifiers and see if we get... A little bit more about what's going on here. I feel like this this week is a lot of change, big changes for people. All right, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups. I feel like maybe somebody reaches out to you this week, but you're kind of going back and forth on whether you want to or not. I feel like it may be somebody that you're in a relationship with that is. Like, it's somebody that you're, the two of you connect, you get along good, and then all of a sudden you start fighting and you start arguing, and then you break up, and then somebody reaches out again. Either you reach out or they, they reach out. I feel like more it's like they keep reaching out to you, and then you keep giving them more chances, and you keep giving them more opportunities, and then the two of you end up arguing and disagreeing, and you've gotten to the point where you're like, oh, I just can't do this anymore like I'm tired like sh I feel like that's your energy here like you're tired you're exhausted you're like I don't want to deal with this anymore I don't want to do this anymore 
And I feel like this week is your opportunity to make those changes that you need to do because we, you know, we have this death card, which is, you know, transformation and um, a new phase, you know, and ending something, ending this merry-go-round that you're on. And this is going to be temporary. It's something that you're thinking about, but, you know, this is just going to be something that's temporary. Um, and you're going to feel happy about the choice that you make and you're going to feel that fire and that passion come back because you've made the decision that you need to make in order to not have this revolving door and have this back and forth and we're together, we're not together, we're together, we're not together. Um, I feel like it's just this toxic relationship that you're dealing with um, and I feel that you have to maybe communicate with this person that you just can't do this anymore. Like you... Um, it's exhausting you and you're ready to be in this happy place this positive place yeah like this four of wands place like um, having a happy home life you know um, celebrating um, just being in that happy place like that's where you want to be that's where you're trying to get this week we have the Hierophant and finding that balance, we've got ju the Justice card. Um, you know, you're, maybe you, you decide to work this out and you're like, we have to find the balance in this relationship because I feel like it's always one-sided and I feel like I'm putting more effort into this relationship than you are and you need to decide, you know, um, if you want to work on this relationship and then you have to communicate with your partner and you have to tell them that we have to balance things out. Like this is not going to be one-sided anymore. And you have to take that time to yourself to think about what it is you want to do with this relationship and then make the choice that's best for you. So you have got a lot that you're thinking and you're working on this week. And I said... That's why you are emotional, but you're going to have an awakening. Like you're, you're, I feel like you're going to have that aha moment. Like, okay, this is what I want to do. Like if I, like if you want to work on it and you want to stay in this relationship, you're like, okay, this is what I need from you. And this is what I need to have happen. And if you're not willing to give that, then I need to move forward. Like, I feel like that's, you're going to come to that aha moment. And then the King of Pentacles represents somebody who is patient somebody who is ready to put in the hard work like you're ready to put into the work if your partner's ready to put into the work but you're also ready to move forward if you want to move forward so you have to decide what it is that you want to do and what do you want your future to look like and what are those decisions you know I feel like he's looking out into the future like what do I want to have happen and I feel like maybe that's what you're doing this week is like, where do I want to go? Where do I want to be? How am I going to find my happiness? What choices and what decisions do I need to make that are going to bring me this happiness? Is this relationship going to bring me that happiness? Is that is this relationship going to be something that I can rely on and that I can trust? Or is this just going to be this one-sided, you know, back and forth thing that I'm just too exhausted to deal with anymore? I do feel that you're going to be able to find your clarity, but I feel like this week you are taking those steps to make those decisions. Because again, like we started out with a death card, you know. All right, so let's close out with an oracle. I feel like with this Knight of Cups here, for some reason I'm focusing on that. And this is about, the Knight of Cups represents emotional openness. So I feel like emotionally, maybe one of you is closed off and one of you is not. Um, maybe your partner is emotionally closed off. And you're willing to be emotionally open, but they're not. All right. And we have this card, lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. And that's what I feel like. There are two paths ahead for you. It's do I work on this relationship? And we have this open home, open, you know, openness emotionally. And 
I express to my partner what it is I need from that for the, for them or do I move f forward and take that break and make those choices that are best for me because I can't do this revolving door anymore. So again, a lot for you to think about. Um, but I do feel that you will be able to have that clarity. You're going to have that aha moment and what it is that you need and want to do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.